on my video for making hash browns, a uh, YouTube user Gil asked if I'd do one um, on a, an entire breakfast from start to finish. And I thought it'd be nice to kind of show um, some of the little different steps, but especially the timing. So I got two eggs, gonna make some hash browns, got some bacon, um, found some sausage. Uh, my wife makes sausage a lot, and she usually uses this uh, George Foreman grill, but I'm gonna do it in my cast iron pan. So I got my three pans that I'm gonna need. I got the cast iron, I'm gonna use that for the bacon and the sausage. Um, smaller nonstick for the eggs, and then my bigger one for hash browns. Um, cooking bacon, I've cooked a lot of bacon. Um, if you're gonna do it in a pan, slow and low. So medium, even a little bit below medium. I'll let that get warming up. And then I'm gonna get my skillet going over here for the hash browns on medium as well. The hash browns are gonna take about the longest since the potatoes take a little while to cook. So that's why I'm starting those first. The bacon and the sausage, I'm gonna do them both in here. We'll get done a little bit sooner, but I need that done so I can use this burner to make the eggs and then work on the other stuff. Okay, I'm gonna grab my bacon. Um, this is really good bacon. It's Nooski's Applewood Smoked Bacon. Uh, uh, local store gets it, but it comes out of Wisconsin. Um, with this bacon, now, okay, this part down here isn't gonna, it's gonna curl up a little bit. There's really nothing I can do about it. But you can see here where the meat and the fat is. If you make this a little rip, right there, that'll keep it from curling up as much. Place this in the pan. It's been warming up. It's been about three minutes. It's nice and warm. And I got two little sausages. Uh, they're still frozen, but should be all right. I like those really crispy and browned up. All right, this is a uh, clarified butter and a little bit of olive oil. About a third of it's olive oil. The rest is clarified butter. Um, you can just use plain vegetable oil and normal butter if you want. Just put enough of it in there to coat the bottom a little bit. And that's heating up pretty well too. Um, I've already shredded my potatoes. You can see my hash brown video for more detail. I'm going to squeeze out the extra water in here. Just loosely arrange. I like mine pretty thin, so I'm gonna spread it out. So I don't like the big mushy on the inside. And again, medium. Uh, one tip I didn't mention in my hash brown video is don't mash them down, because if you mash them down, they, you lose that kind of architecture where there's air inside of it and stuff. And, okay. Okay, time to flip the bacon. Probably should have done this earlier. Uh, there's purists out there that say you only flip it once, but I don't like any of the fatty part. I like mine really crispy, so I flip it as many times as I can. You know, it, it does this curling thing, you can see right there. So when it's sitting this way, it's going to curl the other way. Just keep on flipping it back and forth. I haven't done the sausage in a cast iron for a long time, but I'm figuring I'm going to use four sides like a square. Do that. Hash browns are getting close. Um, they kind of stick together. You could always use a big old spatula, but I like to flip it. It's just more fun. You want the one side to brown up really good though, so when you do flip it, however you do it, it doesn't break up. Try to keep it all together. It's really close, probably give it another minute. Um, if you didn't want to pan fry your bacon, the best way to do it is use a, a pan like this and put it in the oven 350 degrees and just keep on watching it. You don't have to flip it or anything like that. Um, this one has little holes in it so the grease can drip down to the bottom. Um, you can also just have a normal sheet pan of some kind and put down parchment paper that will keep it from sticking. 
And I think I'm going to flip my hash browns now. Oh. First I'm going to put down a little bit of butter and oil on the top just so it can crisp up nicely. I'm going to put my bacon again. And it seems I have the temp up a little too high. But that's almost done there. I'm going to turn it down even lower. While I'm at it, I might as well turn my sausage again. 